Hello everyone. Saturday night. This is your DNRS recap of selections for Saturday, September the 6th, Belmoral Park. All right. Before we get into the uh, recap and all that other good nonsense, I want to point something out again. Last night at Maywood, they handled one million. $31,225. That's right. Maywood Park had a handle of over $1 million. A Yonkers had a handle of $933,245. But getting back to Maywood Park and Chicago Harness Racing, um, I don't want to hear that nonsense from anybody that... Uh, Chicago racing is dying off, and nobody's betting it, and, and this, and that, and all those other things, because it's totally untrue. Million dollar handles at Maywood, every Saturday night at Belmoral Park, and Sunday night now, over a million dollar handles, million one, million two hundred thousand. Sure, they're going to close up shop with those kind of handles. Yeah, right, sure. I'm sure the track owners are just going to give up million-dollar handles next year, right? Because if they don't get their little way to have casinos, right? They're going to give up million-dollar handles and, you know, go out of business. Yeah, sure. Yeah, if that's the truth, then I fly airplanes for a living, you know? So all that, all that stuff that you hear about and uh, you read about... You know, it must not be dying off for the betters because they're still firing away. Yeah. Okay. You know, the handle's not a million five or a million eight or a million six like it used to be maybe when T Trick was in town and Morgan and Andy Miller and and uh, you know, all the top trainers that left and other top drivers like Brent Holland and and uh, other guys. Yeah, handle might be down a little because the product slipped, you know, and all the good horses left with those guys. But uh, all in all, uh, considering all the competition out there from all the casinos all over the place now, uh, I would have and uh, and uh, slot machines and bars and everything. I would still say the handle's still there. I think the handle. I don't think the handle's been lost because of the product. I think the handle's been lost because of other forms of gambling. And all the and, and slot machines over there and bars and restaurants wherever they got them back in Chicago now, but anyway, um, I'm sure the Belmoral handled over a million dollars again tonight, million one, million two hundred thousand. I don't know. Let me just take a quick look here and see if the results are in yet for the last race where they show the handle. And I'm, I'm looking here at the Belmoral. Uh, no, nope, they only got it up to race number 12. So I guess they're taking their time putting the 13th race on. But uh, I'm sure they handle over a million one, million two hundred thousand again tonight. But anyway, that's the deal with that. We'll see what happens come next year. But uh, I bet my bottom dollar nothing's closing up. They'd be a damn fool if they did that with those kind of handles. Okay, all you Yankee fans out there, got the hat on for you. <laughs> I'm a Dodger fan now. I'm a Dodger fan, West Coast man. All right, let's roll on with these uh, DNRS results. Okay, guess what? We had six top-rated winners tonight. We had six second-rated winners, and we had one third-rated winner. Out of the 13 races, 12 winners came out of my top two-rated horses. Out of the 13 races, 13 winners came out of the top three. Uh, another little tidbit. If you were to bet, say, $20 on my top-rated and my second-rated horse all night long, invested 40 bucks on the night for 13 races, you would have bet $520, you would have cashed for $773, and you would have made a profit of 253 just on $20 win bets on the top two rated horses. Just wanted to throw that out there for you. Since that, that kind of high percentage, 12 winners out of 13 races come from my top two rated horses. All right, let's get into these races and see what we can talk about and get some results going here. All right, 
in the first race tonight, I had him rated 4, 5, 6, 8, 1, 2. It came in 5, 6, 1, 2. The four horse, who was the 1 to 2 shot, Irv Miller train horse, um, he sat, he pulled, he came up alongside the leader, the six horse, around the last turn. Looked like he was going to go right by him. Got by him, but maybe three quarters of the length. And then all of a sudden, he decided he's not going to run anymore. He stopped and just backed right through the field. Like somebody hit him in the head with a baseball bat. But nevertheless, he did wind up fifth somehow. So that made him eligible for the final next week. So he got in. So Big Irv, Big Irv, he's got a week to get him good. He's got a week to figure out what happened. You know, there'll be an excuse, I'm sure. I'm sure who's this guy that owns him? Quad racing, Quaid racing. I'm sure he ran back to the barn after the race. What's happened to my horse? What happened to my horse? Oh, my God, he stopped. Is he all right? Yeah, I'm sure he, he, you know, he got the... You know, he got some excuse. Well, uh, I don't know. Is he, he shut his ear off. Uh, he tied up. Uh, he had heart palpitations. Uh, uh, he scoped sick or something. You know, there'll be an excuse. But Big Irv's got a week to get him good, so he could finish. So he could finish second to Mister Mister Leland's filly. <laughs> Better off being in the consolation. Can't beat Mister Leland's filly, but eh, he might run second to him. Pick up more money than he than he's probably going to get in the consolation. Anyway, um, the exacta with my second rated horse on top and the, all the other numbers underneath again paid thirty nine twenty. The tri paid two thirteen eighty, and the super for one dollar four hundred ninety six dollars. Once again, top two rated on top, five deep, another profitable payout. Invest forty dollars. On two dollar exactus and ten cent, I mean, uh, fifty cent tries, and you make a profit. You make a profit of about a hundred dollars or so. There you go. All right. So that was race number one. Start out the winner again. Race number two. Of course, Mr. Leland's Philly won two dollars and sixty cents. Who else is going to be top rated but him? But her. Uh, I had him rated 156742. It came in 1457. And uh, the exact paid pretty decent with uh, 260 horse. It paid 2440. Try didn't pay much, 3460. And the super only paid $74 for a buck. But, you know, if you key the one on top with the other numbers underneath, uh, you pick up 1440 on the uh, uh, profit. On the exacta and uh, pick up a few bucks profit on the try not much but what are you going to do with a 260 horse on top all right moving on to race number three once again another dead chalk winner two dollars and twenty cents you heard it right twenty cents on two dollars yeah uh, unlocked and I had him rated uh, 427156, came in 4521, stinking $8.40 exacta, and a stinking $35.40 trifecta, and a stinking $67 super. So once again, chalk on top. Either pass the race because you don't want to bet these chalk because there's no, no value in the race and just watch it, or you bet it. The way you want to bet it. Top rated winner on top and the numbers underneath some. However you want to put them together. Anyway, uh, and also in that race, the two horse, who I had rated second, PD, uh, PQ3, he did not finish. He distanced. He got away fourth. He was sitting fourth up the backside and quit running. Almost like that, that uh, filly in the first race of Irv's. <laughs> oh, look here. Same owner that owns the horse. Quaid Racing. LLC. Boy, that guy's probably having a heart attack tonight, huh? First race, his horse backs through the field. Like that. Dead chop. PQ3. Top horse last year. Just 
did not finish. Man, that guy's probably had a bad night there. But, so he's not in nothing next week. Probably won't even race him off that line. Something happened to him. But he probably choked or, you know, something like that. Tied up, heartbeat, heartbeat was wrong, you know, palpitations, irregular heartbeats, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, whatever. But, huh, I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to race number four. Race number four. Second rated horse wins, another dead chalk, $3.40. Al's Hammered. I put Al's Hammered second. Yep, I put the old Fort Silky on top. I figured, you know, elimination race, I know Silky's going to the top, he's going to get the close-up trip, and and Bobby's going to probably have to come from way off the pace, and, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, he's not going to push him too hard to try to get in any trouble or make a break, you know. So I put the silky on top again. Had him rated uh, 4, 6, 7, 8, 1, 5. Came in 6, 4, 1, 7. So Hamburg beat the silky. Race big, come flying, 49. Pfft. Horse is a monster. Horse is a monster. Got to take my hats off to Phillips because this horse broke down last year with that, that bad back leg. And whoever, whoever, whatever, whatever clinic or whatever university did the work on this horse, they must have done a fantastic job because that's not an easy industry, injury to overcome. The, those kind of injuries, they, horses will come back on them and then one or two starts they'll go lame again. But, you know, hats off to, to the trainer and to whoever the vet is or the clinic is that worked on that horse. Anyway, uh, 480 exacta. 42.60 on the try, and uh, 72 on the super. So if you just key off those two horses and put the other numbers underneath, you know, the try wasn't bad, 42 bucks. Super wasn't bad, 72 if you bet supers. Easy race to hit if you want to bet it. All right, moving on to race number five. Prices got a little bit better here on the numbers. Of course, we cashed again. Second rated winner, $11.80. Molly go lightly. Uh, I had him rated nine one two eight six seven. Came in one six nine eight. And the exacta paid fifty one forty. The tri paid one forty nine, and the super paid four sixty three. Second rated horse on top, five deep. Caught some decent payoffs there. Simple as pie. Race number six. Top rated winner on top, the one, 420. Had him rated 162573. Came in 1756. Not bad payouts again. Top rated horse on top, five deep. Exacta 3980. Trifecta 222. Super 306. Top rated horse on top. All the numbers underneath. Bet them and roll them, boys. Bet them and roll them. All right, moving on to race number seven. We had a second-rated winner, Mr. Luke Park. Rocco Rick Ruffalo's horse. Rocco Ruffalo's horse. Another big race. Another big race by Luke Park. So it came in 9136. I had him rated 915 I had no six for the uh, super, just the try with the second rated on top. Top rated ran second, fourth rated ran third. Two top rated horses won two, twelve dollars and forty cents exact. Try sixty four dollars. It's not much of a payout there, but you know top two rated on top. Use the other numbers underneath. He cashes sixty four dollar try. Sixteen dollars, two dollar try. One nine with one nine with three five seven ten. Sixteen dollars, get back sixty four. Make a little under fifty bucks. What's wrong with that, huh? What's wrong with that? All right, so that'll be a good race next week uh, for the orange and blue. Probably the Luke Park and the uh, Swamp. I don't think there's anything else that can beat those two. So we'll see who comes out on top next week. Maybe Rocco Ruffalo will get the orange and blue.
All right, moving on to race number eight. Another top-rated cinch winner on top, the six horse. Always ships in for this uh, Lorna Pope's race, Prope's race. Let's go higher. Illinois bred who races on the East Coast but comes in to steal money in this race every year. Dead cinch. Can't bet against her. Cheap payoffs. I had him rated 621357. Came in 621. Had the had the try ice cold in there. And um, oh, I didn't even realize it. Had the super ice cold too. 21. Six two one three five seven. I rated them. Came in six two one three. So the ice cold right on the top four. Eleven twenty on the ice cold exacta. Thirty nine eighty on the ice cold try. Forty six dollars on the ice cold super. Very easy race to very easy race to hit. Okay, text coming in. Text coming in. Hold on a second. Let me answer this text, guys. I'm sorry I'm pausing here, but I got to answer this text. It's important. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, we're on to race number nine. Another top rated cinch on top. I'm a Bonacera. I had the I had the exact the ice cold one once again uh, for 1380. I rated him one four two seven six eight. It came in one four seven three. I had no three for the super. I just had the exact the ice cold, and I had to try the uh, fourth rated horse ran third. Try paid forty four eighty. So another very easy race to hit. Come on with this. All right. Moving on to race number ten. My third rated horse beat my top rated horse. My second rated horse was third in the first part of the pick four. So the top three rated horses ran all in the money with the five horse beating the eight and one running third. Box my top three, you catch a 32-10 exacta. Not bad because those were the only three horses in the race. And a tri paid 77.60 if you box my top three rated. That's it. That's all it takes. Yep, twelve bucks get you back uh, sixty-five. Exact the box, twelve bucks makes you twenty. That simple. Nothing more to say about that race. Eleventh race. All right. <laughs> Missed the try in here. This was a heartbreaker. This was a heartbreaker. But the exact it was good, and the race was profitable. My second rated horse won. Paid twenty dollars. I had him rated six two seven four three one. It came in two one five four. Second rated horse on, uh, over the other numbers. The exact that came back one fifty one sixty. So top two rated on top five deep forty dollar bet. You get back one fifty one because you don't catch the try, but you do. You still make uh, hundred and eleven dollars on the race. That's not bad at all, pal. Not bad at all. The five horse beat the four out, or we would have had to try, and that would have came back decent too. The try paid huge. Tashi special, fifty to one, got third, beat the four. A unique acquisition. Are you kidding me now? Seriously, did you look at this Tashi special? No wonder he's fifty to one. This horse did not race at all in 2013. Not at all. This year, three starts. This is September. He's had three starts, and he had no starts last year. And this horse, with these lines that he has on top of it, gets third. How does it happen? Seriously, how does a horse like that get third? He burns everybody, but that's what happens. Horses get there and burn everybody. So anyway, that's what happened. But... Second rated winner, twenty dollars, and caught a nice exact at one fifty one sixty. I'm sure nobody's complaining. 
Okay, let's move on to race number 12. We had a nice top-rated winner in there, $11.80. Bet on him. I had him rated 187523. Uh, once again, the nine horse beat us out of the try. We only cashed the exacta, $43, the one three exacta, and $11.80 on the top rated winner. Okay, not bad. But the nine beat the two for third, or we have the try. The nine horse. Mr. Virgin, coming from Running Aces, this horse from Running Aces out of the nine hole huh, can beat these Belmoral horses. Horse has got five grand made all year. He's got two wins and ten starts. But Sure enough, he got third. Got to live with it, don't we? All right, moving on to race number 13. Did not cash any exacta, did not cash any trying there. Second rated horse won. He paid 560. But the 10 horse beat my four horse out, who I had rated on top. He went off at 12 to 1, my top rated horse. I had him rated 457612. I had no 10 in the numbers. So, the 10 got there, beat us out of the exacta and the trifecta, because the 2 ran fourth. But, that happened, so the last race was a no cashier rule. But, I do want to point out something here. I noticed that the pick 4 paid $1,400. And, the DNRS numbers in the pick 4, the third rated horse won the first leg, the second rated horse won the second leg, the top rated horse won the third leg, and the second rated horse won the fourth leg. Fourteen hundred dollars. I didn't bet it. I don't bet pick fives and pick fours. Not unless they got a carryover. Then I might sink some money in them. Because most of the time when I bet them, I always get three out of four, and some something always happens. I'll either put the ticket together the wrong way, or a horse will get there and burn me, like my fourth or fifth. Rated horse will, will win the will win one of the legs, and I don't go that deep or something like that. So I hate putting a lot of money into. It. I rather bet the gimmicks. I rather bet exactus, tries, supers, than than stick money into the pick four. But you know it hurts when you see huh, a top rated, two second rated, and a third rated win on the numbers, and it pays fourteen hundred dollars. So maybe we'll put a few of those together though. When we got when we got the syndicate rolling here in a week or so, uh, we'll put some of those pick fours together. You know, put some money into them with the syndicate boys. But anyway, that's how it went at Belmoral tonight, guys. Very nice card. I mean, you know, a very nice payout. We caught some decent payouts. We caught some shots. We had six top rated winners and six second rated winners. Can't beat that percentage again, boys. Glad to help. Glad to help in any way I can. Got to help your fellow man, right? Unless you're one of those people that don't like to help anybody. You want it all for yourself. But I'm not that kind of guy. So that's the way it is. Anyway, Sunday night, tomorrow night. Uh, I will see you tomorrow night after the last race for the DNRS recap. Good night, everyone.